Here we have eight of the sleeves or shrouds by Kyberlite, and how the sleeves work is you slip them over your lightsaber hilt, and you line up the buttons, and then at the bottom you attach the sleeve by screwing in the screws. So it's pretty easy. One of the sorry for that noise. <laughs> one of the easy ways to kind of customize your saber. And you can see they really have a variety available that you can tailor to, you know, like your favorite color. And even some of the patterns within the sleeve itself vary. So like here you kind of have these slashes and these are, um, you know, you have a few different shapes going on, right? So, I don't know, for me, I'm not a huge fan of, I guess, the different shapes, but, you know, that might be fun for some people. I like the, the shroud, or the, yeah, the shrouds that have more of a clean basic look, but that's maybe just kind of my style too. So my favorites out of these would be this one. Um, this is just the black one. They have some fancy name for it, I think, but <laughs> it's just a black shroud and what's nice about it is it does still leave this portion of the hilt exposed so you have these nice um, lines but at the same time you have this kind of very bold black portion um, covering up your hilt and so from a design standpoint I like that I also like the gold colored one a lot. That would be one of my favorites too because the kind of gold or brass color I think works pretty well uh, with lightsabers. One thing I don't like is how you have these horizontal lines with the shroud and then you have the vertical lines uh, on the hilt itself. I kind of feel like it's it's like, I don't know, I just kind of feel like it's a lightsaber jail, or I, I just don't like the horizontal and the vertical lines. I feel like they kind of clash, but I like the color, and I guess I'm more into for the sleeves or the shrouds. I like if they're black or kind of a metallic color like this, or a gold, or this is kind of a copperish color. I'm more of a fan of that rather than some of the kind of not natural colors like purple or whatever that, that's cool if you like that it's just kind of not my speed so um, the other thing I like about this one in particular is I like that it's just solid all the way around and so it just yeah it doesn't have like the weird patterns on there like some of these other ones it's just solid and gives you that copperish color. Although, I do kind of wish, this is a little orange. I, I wish it were kind of a little less orange, more copperish, if that makes any sense. But it is nice that it's solid all the way around. Now, from Kyberlite, if you're getting their night pack, which is their base model, the only sleeve that's included is this black one, but I mean, that's a good thing because I think this is one of the best sleeves. So, kind of classic black. And if you go a step up and you get the Master Pack, which is the uh, lightsaber kind of combo pack that includes several different options. So that will include all three of these. So it's nice it includes the gold colored one and, you know, red if you're feeling more red. The rest of these shrouds or sleeves are available just from their website. So in the accessory section or some of them, I think all four of these are part of the Kickstarter pack that you can get to kind of bundle them together. But other than that, all of these are available individually. They also have uh, some of these available through Amazon. And in addition, these are not all of the sleeves that they manufacture. There are definitely a few other 
models out there, so you can check out their website for that. And I would think in the future they'll they probably continue releasing different models too, especially since they already have a few different patterns going on. And but like some of the patterns are only with one color, so it seems like it would be really easy for them to use that same pattern but with some of the different colors. But so this is kind of an introduction to the sleeves and they are I've heard they're they will work with most of the Saber Forge hilts. So the dimensions the it'll match up and I'll give you those exact dimensions I actually asked Kyber Light about that. And so the the length of the shroud is six and seven eighths eighth inch and then the inside diameter is one and three eighths inch and the outside diameter is one and seven sixteenths inch. So those are the dimensions if that helps you, but they should work with the majority of the Saber Forge hilts. It's kind of a standard size. There might be a few hilts by Saber Forge that they don't work with. Um, and these will not work with Ultra Sabers and not even, they, they come really close to working with a V2, but it just, well, that's even a little closer. I mean, it wouldn't, it wouldn't really fit anyway, like, I can put the bottom, no, see, it, it just, it doesn't work, and the, the hole wouldn't match up, uh, for the, the switch wouldn't match up with these holes, and it's too big, anyway, um, but yeah, it will work for Saber Forge, and of course it works for Kyber Light. But here's some of the options you get. They do name all of these. One thing Kyber Light's good about is they give pretty much all of their pieces kind of exciting names. And so like this is called Purple Rain. And that's kind of refreshing. Some of the other Saber companies don't really bother to name things very well. like. I'm thinking of Custom Saber Shop in particular. They have like Pommel Style 5 and they don't, you know, that really tells you nothing about it. Um, and then who else? Oh, Saber Forge. Some of their blade plugs are like Style 4. You know, they're just numbering them. They, they didn't bother to come up with um, a real name for it. But anyway, Kyberlite does that. But here are some of their sleeves.